Podcasts on unctv.org are made possible through the financial contributions of viewers like you, who invite you to join them in supporting UNCTV. They look very modern. Beverly Dixon is an artist who has traveled and lived around the world, but she and her husband Chad were so charmed by a trip to Troy, North Carolina, they had to call it home. And that's on a piece of Fabriano paper with liquid graphite. And if Beverly was going to be a North Carolinian, she wanted her art to reflect North Carolina. When I was younger, uh, what did I want to be? An archeologist, a marine biologist, or an artist? And somehow, you know, as I'm closing, approaching 60, I have a way, I've found a way to combine all my loves. I think the idea is an appreciation for your surroundings. We've lived in a lot of places around the world, and part of it is becoming some sort of cultural chameleon where you want to experience what's there and what this place has to offer. Tuticala Rock is a soapstone. Beverly found inspiration in North Carolina's petroglyphs. These are ancient rock carvings of symbols and lines that predate the written word. Experts aren't sure what every petroglyph means, but they know a story is being told. The beauty of petroglyphs, because however you look at these symbols, what you interpret as the symbols is as valid as the next person. I think that looks like it's from outer space. I think it looks like from the future. And that's that same primitive image. If you don't understand Beverly's petroglyphs, ask her to tell you the story. She's also glad to listen as you interpret what her artwork means to you. Tell her anything you'd like. But don't say petroglyphs don't amount to much because they're not fancy. But, and I carve into it. I'm actually creating almost like a petroglyph. Creating that rubbed Beverly the wrong way. Some people have actually had um, the audacity to say that these are doodles on rocks. I don't think 3,000... The 3, audacity <laughs> to call them doodles. Yeah. Well, because I, I think that it shows a lack of reverence. You're offended by that. Oh, absolutely, because I, I don't believe that someone 3,000 years ago took the time to just make a doodle. I think that they were telling a story. Uh, easily, Beverly could have used petroglyphs from the Southwest that are much more well-known, or France. However, we live here, and this was trying to lead that back into something that had to do with North Carolina. If there hadn't, had, hadn't been any petroglyphs here in North Carolina, well, she would have been in trouble. I asked Beverly to explain a petroglyph. She picked one she made for her father. This is my father represented as a warrior because he was in the Burma Triangle in World War II. And this is a warrior's wife. Uh, they were married for 62 years. He had two fraternal brothers. One had passed. Six fraternal sisters and three had passed. The sisters are denoted by two lumps on the side of their head. Um, there are four children and seven grandchildren. These are symbols of good life. Um, he was 89 when he died. Each one of these, circle within a circle, denotes 10 years. So you'll find eight of those. And then these are called couples, and they denote one year. So you'll see the 89. Um, this is a symbol of someone becoming ill, and this is a symbol of my father passing, and this is a symbol of his soul transcending. Uh, am I supposed to feel very sad for your father because he passed away by looking at that? Am I supposed to be happy that he lived 89 years, which is a very ripe old age? Mm -hmm. Actually, um, this was just a cathartic um, exercise for me, and also a tribute to his life. So you could feel... Tribute? Yes, absolutely. And who's to say in 10,000 years, archaeologists won't uncover some more petroglyphs, Beverly's petroglyphs, and wonder what she was trying to say.